Welcome to Second Opinion, the reviews show here on the Nexus. I am your host, Ian R. Buck, and today I will be reviewing the Rockform phone mounting system. Find the show notes for this episode at thenexus.tv slash SO111. So bike phone mounts are really hard to do. It's a difficult product category. Um, I've, I've tried out a few different ones, uh, reviewed a couple of them for, for this show. And in my experience, um, they're all either like not durable enough, which is definitely not a good thing for, for phone mounts, right? Because it's not just the phone mount itself that's relying on the durability. It's also, Hey, uh, if you, if your phone falls off of your bike, like, well, that that could be uh, a very bad day. So they're either not durable enough um, or they're really easy to steal, right? Because a lot of um, phone mounts just kind of strap to your handlebars. And then, you know, when you get to the Midway Super Target and you lock up your bike and, you know, it's easy to just like somebody walks by and they don't have to unlock your bike or anything. They just unstrap that that bike phone mount and off they go. Um so yeah, or or like the the third alternative is they're really expensive, um, and so Rockform uh, I think has solved the first two problems, but um, they are pretty pricey, and I was really hesitant to try out Rockform for a long time because you know they like they cost more than twice as much as any of the other phone mounts that I had used in the past, um, but eventually I bit the bullet, and I you know I am glad that I did. Uh, so let's get into it. So instead of using like straps, you know, like rubber rubber straps on the corners of the phone or like grips that are like spring loaded or something like that, um, what Rockform does is they used a twist lock mechanism. Um, and there are a few like significant advantages to this. Um, number one, it's very durable. Uh, number two, it's low profile, right? You don't have anything like sticking out past the width of the phone itself. And it's also pretty versatile. Uh, it can be strapped on in any like perpendicular orientation. So, um, by that, I mean, you know, like I have, uh, the bike mount strapped to my handlebars on one of my bikes. So the handlebars of course are like horizontal in, in relation to, you know, my body, um, uh, but then on my other bike, where I don't have enough real estate in the cockpit area to put the phone mount on the handlebars themselves, um, I had to put the the phone mount way down on my top tube, um, which is you know kind of forward and backward, right? Um, but even though the the phone mount is like sideways, um, the locking mechanism you know works. Uh, in in like perpendicular to the way that it's intended to, so I can still have my phone mounted and facing, you know, towards me. Uh, in in like it looks like it's upright from my vantage point, uh, even though the locking mechanism is you know sideways. Um, the major disadvantage of using this locking mechanism, though, is that well, you have to have this locking mechanism both on the mount itself and on the phone. Um, So to that end, they sell phone cases that have the locking mechanism like cut out of the back of the case, but they only have those cases available for certain models of Samsung and Apple phones. So if you have literally any other phone in the world, um, you are going to have to get the universal adapter, which... um, is this little, you know, piece of plastic that like sticks to the back of your phone case, or I suppose you could put it on to the back of the phone itself. Um, but then you're like, I mean, it's, it's using this like really strong 3M adhesive. So I wouldn't put it on the back of the phone because then it's going to be very difficult to get off of the phone. Um, yeah. Also, it does make your phone like significantly bulkier, especially if you're putting it on the outside of a case which already makes your phone a little bit bulkier but um it is it is shaped in a way that i think makes it not terrible to still hold your phone right you know it's it it's it's thicker in the center of the phone which is kind of where the curve of my fingers you know uh kind of 
dictates that my fingers are farther away from the back of the phone anyway. Um, so it, it's it's not terrible, but it is definitely noticeable. So um, yeah, to, to summarize once again, like what do you have to buy in order to get this phone mounting system to work? So you have to choose one of the two bike mounts that they have. Um, one of the bike mounts is uh, the kind that like replaces the stem cap. Um, this would be the like my preference um, because it can only be stolen if like a thief has a hex wrench, right? Um, and it's also just kind of like a, a better use of space, I feel like, you know, like the top of your stem is usually an area that you can't really do anything with. Um, but, you know, if you, if you take the stem cap off and then put this phone mount, like secure it in that spot, then, um, there you go. You're taking advantage of that space. Um, or if you, for some reason, like if your, if your bike doesn't have a stem cap, that's like of a normal size. Um, or like in my case, uh, I have like a USB charger that, um, is like, it, it takes up that space uh, at the top of the stem, um, then you will have to get the phone mount that just kind of straps to the handlebars, um, or in my case, onto the top tube. And then also, so you've picked your the mount that goes on your phone, and then you also have to either buy a case to put on your phone, uh, or if there is no case available for your particular phone, you get the universal adapter and stick that onto the back of your phone. A couple of interesting things about the universal adapter itself. Um, in addition to like the the locking mechanism little cutout, uh, it also has a magnet in it, um, and I'm I'm not entirely sure why, but like I guess now I can slap my phone onto the fridge. Um, also, when I have like my phone in my pocket, I can carry silverware around by just kind of slapping the silverware onto the outside of my pants. I don't know if that's a feature, but it's a thing I can do now. Um yeah, it's they they also sell they they sell a different um universal adapter that you can, you know, uses 3M adhesive to to stick to the back of your phone and it doesn't have the locking mechanism, but it has two magnets <laughs> for an even more secure, you know, if if you're somebody who uh, is trying to just like slap your phone onto lots of different magnetic surfaces. Um, I get having two magnets. Yeah, will will help it um, stick better. Cool. Um, I'm sure that that's useful for some people, but it uh, that that is not a use case that um, I have ever really encountered in my life. Um, I also have been thinking about the fact that like you could totally take this universal adapter and stick it onto things besides phones if you wanted to mount other things. Um, and this kind of segues us nicely into talking about the Rockform ecosystem. So let's get into that. So yeah, Rockform has a lot of different accessories that they sell. They, they don't just make bike mounts. They make a lot of different things and most of them use this same exact locking mechanism. So it is like a nice little, little ecosystem um, that you can take advantage of. So they have mounts for many, many different uh, situations, right? They have the bike mounts that, that we're reviewing here. They also have motorcycle mounts, car mounts, golf mounts. Uh, ball socket mounts, right? So just about anywhere that you could imagine like wanting to mount your phone, um, Rockform probably has like a solution for that. Um, they also have a, a lot of like other items that you can buy that can lock into these mounts. So they have like, they have a Bluetooth speaker that they sell. They have um, wireless chargers, which like, you know, it, it, it locks into one of the mounts and then you lock your phone onto the wireless charger and you know the wireless charger will charge your phone um which i guess is marginally easier because like the wireless charger still has to be plugged into some power source <laughs> um but i guess it is marginally easier than like locking your phone into the mount and then also plugging your phone in so whatever um they've got belt clips if you're the kind of person who wants to have your phone clipped to the outside of your belt outside of your pants um they have pop sockets that you know 
<laughs> attached to your phone uh, via this this locking mechanism. All kinds of stuff. Um, yeah. Rock form, yeah, they're they're in an interesting spot, kind of um, positioning themselves as this like, yeah, accessory maker, but trying to make their own closed ecosystem of accessories. Yeah, it's 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 cool, I guess. Um, for me, you know, I think the bike mounts are probably the only things that I would be getting. Um, I can totally see myself though getting like a second rock form mount and then getting a like a universal adapter to slap onto a Bluetooth speaker and then you know like mounting that Bluetooth speaker onto like the top of my down tube and have that blasting music straight up at me. Um, that could be cool. Yeah. Um, there's you know th- there's possibilities. There's there's things that you can do. Fun things that you can do in this space. Um, but yeah, it it is it is a a much more expensive um, way of of mounting your phone onto your bike than most of the other ones. Like like all of the other uh, phone mounts that I tried out were roughly in like the thirty dollar price range. Um, and for these ones, um, both of the 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 bike mounts themselves cost sixty dollars, um, which I was surprised at when I looked at their website because the the one that I got, um, which is the the type that straps onto your handlebars, it it, it cost me half of that. It cost me thirty dollars, um, but it looks like they kind of replaced the model that I got with a very similar looking model that uses Velcro straps instead of a like very thick rubber strap. Um, and they also doubled the price. <sighs> so yeah, you have to buy this like $60 mount and then you also have to buy a case uh, or buy the $20 universal adapter. So like, yeah, it it's an expensive um, solution, but like it's definitely a very, very secure one. So yeah, if you are somebody who like spends a heck of a lot of time in the saddle and you need uh, a phone mount that's going to last a long time um, or if you're putting your bike in extreme places like if you're going mountain biking a lot um, and you know that there's going to be a lot of like a lot of force uh, exerted on your phone mount um, just by you know the way that your bike is moving while you ride it um, I think that phone rock form makes good products for for your use case um, yeah if you're if you're just like riding around in the city, um, just daily commuting, um, you might be able to find something that's a lot cheaper and, you know, maybe it's just like, it's so easy to take off of your handlebars that you can easily just like, you know, just take it with like, when you get to, uh, where you're going, you can just like take it off of your, your handlebars and, uh, stick it in your bag or something like that. Um, you know, that, that might be a more, a better, more affordable, uh, solution than, than rock form. Um, but it definitely, yeah, rock form definitely has, um, has appropriate use cases, I would say. Thanks for listening to this episode of Second Opinion. I have been your host, Ian R. Buck. You can find me on Twitter as Ian R. Buck. This episode is released under a Creative Commons attribution license, so feel free to use any or all of it as you see fit, as long as you link back to the original page, which is, once again, thenexus.tv slash SO111. If you would like to discuss this episode with other listeners, you can do so on our subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash thenexustv. And if you're willing and able to support us financially as we continue to make technology-focused podcasts, you can do so on our Patreon at patreon.com slash TV. Until next time, have a good one. The Nexus. The Nexus. The Nexus TV. Podcasts from, from the, the Technological, technological Convergence. Convergence.